All right, Bob, if you want to start a leg strengthening program for your, at your home, uh, that's your level, this is the video for you. It's for beginners as well as people advanced. I got to uh, say, Brad, you're always thinking. Oh, yeah. well, I'm telling you, Bob, it's, that uh, brain. it's, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's something's up there. <laughs> I don't know what, but you'll find out this is a good one. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, this program is going to work your hips, knees. your knees, pretty much everything from yeah. the hips down. Hamstrings, Hamstrings, walks. exactly. Uh, we're going to show you how to do it to protect your knees so you don't irritate your knees uh, while you do it. And it's easy to progress the intensity. Uh, there's one thing that's important. If you happen to have a knee or hip replacement, uh, you need to check with your doctor first to make sure that this is okay. It should be, but yeah, it should be safe. If it's recently, maybe not. If it's right. a year or two down the road, probably can. Better be safe than sorry. Um, now, this is kind of like doing squats, but it's so much easier. It's safer, and it really gives good benefits, particularly if you're interested. In I like this. Ryan. You're strengthening your legs for going up and down steps, hiking the hills, mountains, etc. Bob, there is one tool that the people will need for this, uh, stairs. Right. Uh, one step may be enough, two or at least three if you want to get to the advanced level. Uh, but how you do these is critical. You just don't go ahead and start going up and down the steps. We're going to do it. My right leg, I'm going to go up on the first step. If you have handrails, we're going to use those for balance as well as assistance for resistance level. Uh, if you first start doing this, both handrails, if they're there, use them. If you only have one, you could put a cane here and here, depending on yeah, what you Yeah, for a need. week or just start it out. Exactly right. Or recovering from an injury, whatever right. it might be. So it's here, and we're just going to go up. And with the same leg, go down with really good control for that eccentric strengthening. That's really important. So this is what they look like. It might be. This seems very simple, but right. I really like it, Brian. Right. You're, you're going to find out how it gets harder if you would mm -hmm. like to. Right. Now, there's one more thing I'm going to show you that you need to do to protect your knee. Okay. So if I'm starting here, watch at your knees looking down uh, right over your toes. Right. It's not going to be to the right or to the left. A lot of people won't even think about it. And watch my knee. It'll go It'll in. It'll collapse. Yeah, right. Collapse inwards. That will make pain worse. It's going to be hard on the joint, right. hard on the ACL ligament. Watch that very closely up. That alone is great training. Yeah, exactly. That. Right. That's going to be good for your hiking, your walking, even right. your running if you are a runner. Uh, so that's the critical. The cause of knee pain is that knee collapsing. Yeah. There's one other thing to watch for is... Watch how far you flex forward. You can flex as far as you would like to as long as your knee doesn't hurt. If you get pain, you're going to have to go back down to the lower step and right. do it so it doesn't hurt. Don't irritate a knee so you get a flare-up out of this. Okay, in regards to a complete exercise workout, uh, you're going to start out with your right leg or the left. Where I'm going to do them like this with good mechanics, both hands, no hands as it gets harder. One hand from both hands to one hand. If you want, you can put both hands out to here. Work your balance. Be safe. This is not necessary part. I would recommend most people have one hand on the rail. Okay, you do 10 of them. When that gets too easy, you simply go, make sure you do right and left, obviously. Go to the next step up. Now, good posture. This is what I don't want you to do. Oh, right. Lean really forward like that. We want to have good posture upright, and we're going up and down slowly. If you cannot go down slowly without good control, there should be no pain. Then you're not ready for Again, it. Again, the don't allow the knee to collapse in. Right. So if it drops in this way, you're not ready for it unless right. you can control that mechanics. Very important. Make sure you do both legs. Now, what I like to do, and I have patience to, if it's getting too easy and you think maybe you could go to no hands, but you're afraid because you're falling, simply go fingertips. That makes a big difference as far as resistance, but you're still safe. And they're there, right. Yeah, you know where that rail is. If you need to grab it, it's very quick to grab. 
There we go. And, you know, if you're really ambitious and you've got strong legs and you're hiking, like I'm, I'm going to do some hiking this winter or this fall in the mountains, um, I'm going to put a backpack on. Sure. Throw some weights in it, and then I'm going to do it that way. Or just put some books in it. Yeah, put some books in it. Yeah, or I don't know. What else could yeah. you put in there, Bob? Something heavy. Yeah, some food. I don't know. Yeah. But it's a nice way to work out. Clearly is going to do any level you want. It's going to bulk you up. Ah, strong leg bull, yeah. ready to get up and down. There you go.